goat uh, by virtue of its simplicity goat rearing is a preferred option among marginal and small farmers and even landless farmers who depend on common grazing and forest lands for fodder goat a poor man's cow is now becoming a symbol of prosperity i just want to underline this uh, uh, symbol of prosperity in rural india the commercialization of livestock is on the rise as a result of market development and financial uh, initiatives and an increasing demand for high value commodities which includes the animal protein in the consumer market a gradual shift is occurring towards the intensively managed goat units from extensive unit and uh, however the productivity of goat is in terms of milk and meat remained stagnant over the period it could be due to the fact that most of the uh, animals are reared under the subsistence uh, production system and are non descriptive with the low milk and the meat yield uh, with this uh, uh, background uh, today's uh, this presentation uh, i am just uh, uh, i will try to highlight the importance of goat sector in indian indian economy how it may help to enhancing the farmers income and we will also discuss the techno economic feasibility at different level of production and market and how to uh, strengthen policy environment for goat rearing in general and commercial goat farming in particular so goats uh, they, these are the, the animals are well distributed and well adapted to different types of extreme climatic condition and efficient production system with respect to environment constants and other inputs and small ruminants have higher survival rates other uh, under the drought conditions compared to large ruminants uh, short reproductive cycle these are the very important features of this animal short reproduction cycle short kidding interval and multiple births potential for a higher annual offtake of goats than cattle and buffalo very very important and then makes uh, this makes uh, like this animal as a future animal as a, as a very preferred animal among all the livestock species easily handled by the women and aged persons of the family great potential to improve farm family income with low investment and we are calling is as a goat is a atm any time milk any time meat any time market most liquidable asset in the household and uh, it's a no doubt that is a passport to well being uh, this slide is uh, giving a little uh, information on the growth trends in goat sector overview the livestock rearing provides principal source of income for 3.7% of uh, agriculture household of the country it is a 70th round nsso information the contribution of livestock in total agriculture and allied sector it is a gross value added at constant price has increased from 24.32% which was in 2014-15 to 30.87% in 2020-21 livestock sector contributes contributed 6.17 to the total gross value added so that this is a very very important sector as far as this national economy is concerned according to food and agriculture organization a few information india supports 16.1% of world's goat population and 6.4 percent of its sheep goat is second largest livestock species after cattle it constitutes around 28% of total livestock population of the country population goat population has increased 135 million to 148.88 million between the 2012 and 2019 within the span of 7 years it has increased by almost 10% which is a very impressive uh, growth in among all the species in the life of the livestock country ranked first in goat population first in goat milk production and second in the goat meat production sector contributes 6.47 million tons of milk it is contributing 3% of total milk production of the country 1.27 million tons of goat meat it's contributing around 13.5% of central meat pool and 0.18 million tons of skin goat sector contributed contributes around 1.17 lakh crores it's almost 9% of total value output from the livestock sector at current prices huge domestic market no doubt there's no uh, taboo is associated with this uh, animal across the caste uh, community and the religions accepted with a strong demand for fresh meat and milk most preferred and costliest meat priced around 600 to 650 per kg compared with others Uh, and uh, has a, a very good potential of export uh, we have exported country exported 
1592 million ton of sheep and goat meat which worth around uh, 537.18 crores rupees and major export destinations are middle east we are often talk about that uh, value chain nowadays that the goat value chain is a is a is a small holder goat value chain dominance of small holders 33 million of the goat keepers are custodian of the more than 75% goats importance for the employment generation and the sustainable livelihood significant contribution to household income contributing around 15 to 35 35% particularly in ecologically vulnerable and drought prone areas productivity gap varies 50 to 150% mainly due to the poor jet plus shrinking pastures grazing land lack of supplementary feeding and low adoption of the technologies in adequate support services veterinary and credit these are the important uh, uh, areas a small holders goat production can generate efficiency gain this is very important a small holders goat production can generate efficiency gain from low cost locally feeding options because the feed is the very very important uh, item whenever we are work out that uh, variable cost it constitutes around 60 to 65% of total variable cost so it's a very important all the intervention major interventions required in this area goat rearing considered to be an important contributors to doubling farmers income and poverty alleviation commercialization of goat farming is on the rise drawing interest of the rural youth as uh, uh, just one uh, uh, program in icr is running Uh, retaining youth in agriculture so uh, this animal is a cap- has a cap- capacity or has a, a beauty to retain the retain the uh, young youth in their village only so drawing interest of rural youth in goat farming with the establishment of increasing number of goat farms nowadays enabling policy environment in favor of small ruminants for stakeholders is required so this this is the beauty of small holder livestock production many countries if you just go through the t- data the regions are there in first column let's say east africa bangladesh india uh, vietnam and philippines and they have defined the small holder as per their uh, definition so in india uh, uh, the small holders are contributing around 75% of beef 92% of chicken 92% of sheep and goat meat 69% of milk and 71% of eggs so this is this table alone is telling about the story whole story of the importance of a small holder in indian economy this is the world scenario goat population is 349 million 1961 which has increased to 1100 million in 2021 with the growth rate of 300% it has increased asia and africa has about 95% of goat goat population there are 681 breeds and india is a home to around 37 uh, descriptive breeds and uh, uh, among all the livestock you can see that uh, in this uh, right hand side this uh, uh, figure is there in this figure you can see that the goats are the second largest uh, animal or animal species after cattle share of different species in milk and meat production is also very important to showing show that that what is the contribution of goat uh, with their uh, contemporary with their uh, the companion animals so you can see that the goat are contributing around 3% of uh, total milk production and uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, therapeutic values or subcutaneous countries that oshadi uh, gun ayurvedic values and other values are there in this goat milk and making this milk as a very preferred big milk among all the on the milks so uh, meat in the meat in the case of meat production it is contributing around 13.53 or 14% of total uh, meat production of the country in the meat uh, market is expected to increase by 5.62% and uh, year 2029 with the between 22 and 29 and uh, uh, demand for tender goat meat in, is increasing and uh, people are uh, the consumers are preferring the animals which are having a body weight of 10 to 12 kg projected annual growth in meat and milk when uh, i have gone through one study of uh, delgado who is working in the uh, international live stock institute, institute. in 2003 when i i got one paper in 2000 which is published in 2003 and in that paper i found that they have uh, mentioned that they have used some uh, model atari model and uh, this uh, apar model and they uh, found that uh, this uh, uh, consumption meat and milk consumption in india is uh, the growth is 3.5% as per national sample survey organization reports per capita per month consumption of goat meat or mutton has increased from 53 gram to 61 gram during 2003 to 19 so considering 3% growth in per capita goat meat mutton consumption the demand for goat meat by 2050 
would be 2.13 million tons. And uh, at the right now, we are 1.27 million tons. This is a, a simple calculation that I embed yesterday only. And uh, in this uh, table, I have tried to work out what is the gap between the uh, supply and demand. And demand is normative demand. And uh, this, uh, we, I, I found that there is a 26.22% of uh, gap is with respect to that requirement. So requirement is the base of ICMR norms. And uh, uh, this, uh, this, this is the same kind of uh, exercise I have done in 2015-16, at that time that export was uh, high and uh, the export has reduced this time. And uh, now there's, there's only 10,000 metric ton is exporting fresh shield and uh, frozen meat. So that availability has increased so that it has, it is uh, only 26.22%. Earlier it was around 35 to 30, 40%. This is the again a very important slide. Uh, the average flock size in our country in goat rearing household, you can see that uh, overall, all the across the land class is 3.47. It is a it, it is a, a disperse production and this economies of scale. Whenever we are talking about the economics of goat rearing and the commercialization of goat farming, there is always all talk about the consolidation of the animals. And uh, in this case, you can see that this is a simply a backyard goat tree and 3.47 uh, animals are coming to each household, goat rearing household. Three distinct, uh, this uh, uh, management system, extensive on the grazing based, semi-intensive grazing plus concentrate supplementation and intensive management system is all fed. So uh, more than 75 to 80% or you can say 85% animal are still with the extensive management system. So goat production is gradually shifting. Now this it is gradually shifting from extensive to semi-intensive intensive management, uh, management system because of that uh, uh, shrinking pastures and grazing lands and other labor and other uh, input crunch. So uh, uh, again, uh, poor men's, why we are calling it poor men's cow? It's providing livelihood support to billions of marginal and small farmers. You can see that goat, we just add the marginal and small farmers the percentage of goats with their marginal and small farmers which is coming 76% of goats are reared by those farmers which are having a less than two hectare of land it means that they are small farmers. So it is providing a livelihood in, uh, in, uh, security to the millions of the small and marginal farmers. So uh, this sustainability of the livestock production system is a very important issue and we, we are talking about uh, often people are talking about sustainability and the goat is very suited to this fitted to the sustainable livestock production. It, uh, uh, that it depends the whole sustainability of livestock production depends on seven domains, food and nutrition security, socio and economic sustainability, genetic diversity and biodiversity conservations, livelihood and economic growth, sustainable feed production, animal health and welfare, climate and natural resources use and the management. This is very important climate and natural resource use and management. So goat is uh, bad suited for this uh, production system and providing livelihood and nutrition security. So whenever we are talking about that uh, improving farmers income, this information I have compiled from 59th to 70th uh, and 70th round of national sample survey automation uh, reports. Uh, in this first column, uh, the table shows that the sources of income, cultivation, wage earning, non-farm, animal husbandry, and two point of data is given about 2003 and 2030. Among all the sources of income, we can see that the, the income from the animal husbandry has increased by 23.72%. CAGR, it is, a com it is a compound annual growth rate, compound annual growth rate. So it has increased from 91 rupees to 765 rupees. It is almost 11, 44.3% to 11.9% contribution to the total sources of income in the, in the household. And the CAGR is very impressive to 24%. The growth trends over the last decade indicate that higher growth can come from horticulture, dairy, livestock, fishery related to field crops. And the, uh, whenever we talk about the doubling of the farmer's income, there are, there are the uh, four broad approaches by increasing the net income from each unit of farm, by reducing the cost of cultivation, increasing per unit uh, yield, and ensuring higher market return on the farmer's produce. So in the case of goat, we have uh, just, uh, uh, I have given one, uh, uh, this graph, 
you can see this uh, three scenarios are there present uh, status business as usual with some improved practices it is a uh, uh, given that ip and with improved practices and smart smart marketing it's ip plus sm these three scenario under extensive management system which, which, which we call it as zero input production system the income per vote per year is about 3200 rupees we have uh, 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 collected a lot of data from the from the fields in the different part of the countries and grassroots level and we found that uh, there is a uh, the, the net income per vote uh, per per year is 3200 rupees with some little intervention on nutrition health and management the income per health per adult uh, vote per year it improved to the 4800 rupees means it is a 1.5 times higher than the, the business as usual or present status that smart marketing is very very important whenever we are talking about that uh, intensive production system commercial goat farming or organized goat farm or some uh, uh, this is stall fed uh, farming smart marketing is very very important goat farmers rearing goats under semi intensive intensive management system with a smart marketing they may earn 6500 rupees per head goat per year it is you just compare with the 3200 it is just double of the extensive management system so with this uh, three with the with these interventions we can uh, uh, we can double the income per per goat per year the challenges before commercial goat farming the lack of access of resources limited uh, knowledge of skills farmers are not aware about that uh, the, the scientific goat management practices and uh, other practices poor breeding and genetics after training program the farmers are very much interested to start their goat farm and they just want to they called me and and our colleagues many times that sir from where we have to get a good animals or a good number of animals but we don't have any uh, source from which we can assure ensure that these animals are good for the further production or or the as a seed you can use it as, as a seed stock for next 5 years so this is the uh, very uh, big problem who are breeding and their takes uh, lack of access to veterinary uh, services limited market uh, opportunities are there this is still uh, this uh, traditional uh, channels are there climate and environmental challenges this excessive low temperature excessive high temperature highly rainfall and predicted rain, rain and other things are there so there is always a climate change Uh, and the climate and environmental challenges are there lack of financial support very much required at the initial stage farmers want some support want some financial support from the uh, government some from the financial institutions but uh, uh, very sorry to say that uh, they are not getting up to the mark and appropriate sector policy is very much required for this whole sector to improve the commercial goat farming and popularize the commercial goat farming among the rural youth so this is a uh, this table is a uh, i have taken from the, my one of uh, the paper that we have published in agriculture economics research uh, review this uh, uh, table tells about that the net economic gain from proposed technical interventions in goat production this is a an excellent assessment and uh, it it shows that there is scope, there is a lot of scope to harness more benefit from the goat in short run only simple three four interventions are there breeding disease management nutrition intervention and marketing and in marketing we are just suggesting that uh, you sell the animals at their commercial age don't sell animal at, at the age of 4 or 5 months or 6 months so uh, we have calculated the in this uh, this table you can see that we have calculated uh, gross gain cost of intervention net gain and gross gain to cost ratios so in this uh, table you can find that the nutrition intervention and the disease management this disease management is very very important and very cost effective intervention in this uh, these all figures are in, in million rupees so gross gain is 24064 million rupees and the cost of intervention is only 6758 million rupees so the net gain is high 17366 and the gross gain to cost ratio is coming 3.56 it shows that it tells about that the if you are if the farmer is investing 1 rupee in disease management he may get he may earn almost 3.56 rupee similarly in the in the case of that nutrition intervention you can see that 1.45 gross gain to cost ratio 
Breathing important. Breathing intervention is also very very important. Slow but steady, but giving a long term results. Two point three eight. Market commercial age selling their animals at commercial age. Don't sell animal at five to six months. Sell it at the age of eleven, ten, eleven to twelve months or ten to eleven months. You will get one point eight seven. Uh, this uh, uh, loss gain to cost ratio. So, uh, the, if you work out that if I, I have worked out that all the interventions, overall interventions, which is coming one point nine five, means that uh, this is a you can double your uh, uh, returns. So, this is equivalent of one point two four percent of total value output from the livestock sector, and around forty percent to the total value output from the goods sector. A uh, one article was uh, written by the doc, uh, Dr. Vivek Vivek Dobroy. He is a one of the uh, honorable member of Niti Aayog, and uh, he he has written that uh, the goat is having a lot of uh, potential, a lot of uh, impact in the in the farmers' income or some uh, Indian economy. But uh, who will bear the cost? This is the very important because the cost is very huge, and the, definitely the returns are high. This is a simple model. Now we will talk about that uh, economics of goat rearing. This model is uh, we have. I just uh, talked about that. Uh, there's many rural youths who just pass out uh, with a ten plus two, uh, completed their twelfth class, or even they have uh, completed their their graduation. They all are moving to the to towards the uh, uh, cities or metros or some of the district headquarters. They don't want to stay in villages. Neither they want to uh, stay. They want to do that's. Uh, Engage with the crop husbandry and as well as the animal husbandry. So this model, we have just developed this model for those farmers, for those uh, this unemployed youth, and they should stay in their villages with their uh, this uh, self uh, reliance. What we call it that swabalamban se swabman. This is a very important and uh, in this model, if a if a if a rural youth, if employed unemployed youth. They start their goat farm with the 50 goats plus two breeding bucks. Adopt little scientific practices. He may earn net income of 2.64 lakh rupees per goat per year. Net income is 53 hundred. Beside this, the old age persons, the the women's in the family, we are not promoting the kids because they we always talk uh, about that they should go for the schools and they they complete their education. So the old age person and the and the uh, ladies in the family women in the family they can support and beside this they can also start a small shop and uh, this uh, grocery shop in their villages and uh, they should retain they should stay in their villages don't go outside you stay in the village with this this model and goat has potential to to keep these these young young uh, unemployed youth in their villages this is a simple uh, uh, model uh, for economics of goat meat 25 sirohi Uh, kids, we have taken an example. So, cost of kid it is a uh, three four months of age. It cost you around uh, three to four thousand rupee per kid. It cost you around one lakh rupees. And uh, the recurring cost, we have come compiled this information based on that uh, many farms who are running or keeping that uh, a small size of this uh, uh, kids of different breeds. So they told us that sir, uh, uh, feed, labor, and uh, veterinary care. The recurring cost is coming around five hundred thirty rupees per kid per month. It is almost eighteen rupees per kid per day expenditure for next. So this uh, we are uh, procuring these kids at the age of four months, and we are keeping these kids for the next fourteen months. So the total expenditure on the recurring cost is coming one point eight six lakh rupees. Approximate weight. At the age of 18 to 20 months, is uh, uh, 45 to 50 kg, and 10 to 15 kgs may gain more than 60 plus of body weight. If we are targeting the festive season, at the, during the festive season, what I have, I have observed in the nearby market in Agra and uh, other places, that uh, they are uh, selling these animals at the rate of 400 to 450 rupees per kg of live weight. It also depends on the appearance of the animals, breed. Its uh, uh, beautifulness, its skin, the coat uh, shining, and uh, the uh, shape of the this uh, ears or that uh, the other some some kind of uh, uh, this uh, features are there associated with the uh, prices. We have also run a, one uh, this uh, um, 
regression analysis uh, with the market data which we have collected from the market and we found that, that the more than 75 percent uh, variation or this uh, uh, beta coefficient is coming but uh, 75 percent is coming uh, and it, it is giving the information that weight is the more, most important so uh, the price is as a dependent variable and the body weight is the independent variable we found that the 75 percent variation is coming in the in the dependent prices due to that only uh, weight so weight is very important so 5.75 lakh rupees is uh, the uh, income from the sale of these kits so the average uh, uh, price is 23,000 rupee per kit and net income is coming to like 90,000 rupee and uh, 20,714 rupees <laughs> per month and net income per kid it is coming 11,600 rupees or you can see that 12,000 rupees. So this is a very important model and uh, the, we always suggest to the farmers who are coming to the training programs, you run your uh, breeding farm and uh, beside this breeding farm you can also keep 25 to 40 kids and uh, to get the immediate returns. But this is a 100 plus 5 uh, Burberry breed uh, under semi-intensive intensive management system economics. And uh, we have uh, not given that uh, year-wise, but uh, we have just given a consolidated figures. So in this figures also, you can find that the net income per dough is coming around 8,500 to 9,000 rupees. And benefit cost ratios are also varying from 1.55 to 1.65. And break even in these cases are coming 2.5 to 3 years. And we are also working over here uh, for on the different uh, uh, this uh, DPRs, which is uh, recently uh, very much in demand for this uh, National Livestock Mission uh, Project, Entrepreneurship Development for 100 votes, 200 votes, 300 votes, and 500 votes. For this, uh, we are also developing. So uh, what are the techno-economic feasibility assessment tools? It is very, very important when we are talking about the commercial goat farming. These tools are very important and uh, details information are available, but I am giving the some important points, tools that, that can be used to assess the uh, economic feasibility, technical feasibility of your goat farm. This market analysis, cost estimation, revenue projections is very important, building and selection, feed management. How can we use that uh, locally resource based feed? So we can minimize the cost, disease management, government policies and subsidies. How can we plug, how can we get connected our farm with the government policies and subsidies which are running by the state government or the central government? Sensitivity, sensitivity analysis, changing the parameters. What are the effectors coming on that, uh, our marketable surplus? What are the effect are coming our returns and other things? Financial analysis, which is very important, benefit cost issues internal rate of return, net present but return, return on cost. And the very important thing is that break-even analysis. What should be what should be the break-even price? What should be the break-even uh, this uh, number we have to sell? And what should be the break-even revenue every year? And the last and the very important is risk assessment. So risk uh, against the diseases, risk against the uh, natural calamities, is risk against the uh, other market prices in the certain fall in market prices and, and the other market sentiments. This is the very important uh, uh, slide. Uh, it's showing that the goat value chain. It's a mapping of the goat value chain, uh, enabling environment. These are the some finance institution and line department, which are also contributing associated with this. Input services providers, department, veterinary department, feed manufacturers, paravet, NGOs. So in this, uh, uh, this chain, the whole figure, you can find that the goat farmer to goat farmer is a common uh, channel. And goat farmer are also selling the goats to the village market. And the, from village market, the Italian and traders, what we call it is in Hindi, it's woman to Vyapari. They just want to, uh, they want, uh, they just uh, uh, visit the village to village and buying the animals uh, from the farmers. Three, farm, three animals uh, on a, one day, and then the, uh, four, five animals on the next day. By the end of the week, they used to buy 40 to 50 animals and they are uh, making it a small lorry uh, animals, a weight, and just they are uh, reaching or selling the, these animals to the district or, district or city markets. And this district and city market, they are again uh, from uh, there, uh, the animals are moving to the terminal market with distance traders. 
and uh, they are going to the butchers are also purchasing these uh, animals from the district market butchers are also directly purchasing from the farmers and the uh, processing export uh, export units are also uh, purchasing these animals from the terminal market and from the farmers directly and finally it is reaching to the consumer so this is a traditional value chain when we uh, just map the value chain uh, we found that the maximum profit is coming is that the butcher and retailers are getting a maximum profit of this out of this the whole chain starting from the producer to ultimate consumer so farmers here in the case of goat it's very important uh, observation that farmer share in consumer rupees 73% it is higher than the other agriculture commodities it is still very important observation uh, despite of that uh, lot number of uh, this uh, many uh, middlemen are working in between the uh, produce, producer to ultimate consumer entire the value chain so business markup depends on the volume of trade it's also very important observation these are the emerging value chains nutra goat uh, uh, the pasteurized goat milk they are dealing in pasteurized goat milk the haryana based brown apron is an online fresh uh, meat shop to bengaluru based and uh, the shivan agrotech private limited focusing on goat meat segment supplying to supermarket mumbai based and the visara farm private limited this is a bengaluru karnataka based uh, farm and they are targeting the fresh goat milk goat curd goat cheese and goat yogurt we joined the last webinar and there are a lot of questions uh, what are the what are the reason why the goat commercial goat farming is not getting a uh, is a commercial it is a, it's a, a benefit venture or uh, more profitable so in my uh, my keen observation is that the smart marketing is lacking the farmers who have, uh, who have started their goat farm but they are lagging behind in to get the market the discovery of the buyers is lacking so a step towards the smart marketing uh, these are the important point education and awareness campaign is required highlight nutritional benefits transparent sourcing and production certi certification and quality standards collaborate with the influencers and experts there are a lot of uh, people who are uh, writing blogs nowadays and uh, there are there are some uh, experts health experts and other experts are there and they are also promoting the uh, food items on on the social media so we can we may contact these uh, promoters or the bloggers and we can uh, ask them to promote their animals or their uh, their products so engage in community events and uh, testings this is very important testimonials of user generated contents means that small videos the, the farmers who purchased the animal from your farm they may generate is they may develop a small videos that these these animals are very good in in health point of view these animals are very good in in this breed point of view so you your your farm will get recognized among the all other uh, society so the collaborate with the retailers and the distributors and addressing pricing concern cirg the next slide is the cirg is also organizing the entrepreneurship development in goat farming at uh, icrc at glimpses of the success story we are just going to show you this uh, Uh, how we are getting the farmers how we are receiving the lot of applications from different part of the country to get the goat farming training at cirg if this this uh, uh, slide or this figure will give you a little impression of that uh, how this goat farming is getting importance of getting gaining importance among other livestock species so uh, starting from 2010 it was 226 uh, farmers came to the cirg to uh, to get the training programs and now it's uh, we have reached into 2019 figure so last 10 years data so it's at 477 so it is increasing regularly uh, earlier that uh, the females participation was very low but the after 2017 2018 2019 we are getting a good number of uh, female participation also commercial goat farming is a, vi uh, a viable enterprise it's a state representation you can see this slide is giving the this graph is giving a state representation accessibility and coverage 27 states people are from the 27 states states are have come over here and uh, learn the good practices of goat farming and scientific goat practices as far as this education level is concerned earlier there was a one uh, saying that the goat to chote logon ka kaam hai it's not a बिना पढ़े लिखों को लिखे लोगों लोगों का काम है बट नाउ द 
it is changing, trend is changing. You can see that the out of total farmers, the more than 70% farmers or 55, 56% farmers are the graduate and post-graduate. And uh, most of them are technically educated, B-Tech, MBA, M-Tech, even some, some of the IIT pass out, some of the MBAs from the good institutions and retired IES, IPS, uh, retired uh, this defense uh, personals, they are all coming and learning the good practices and starting their good farm. As far as this uh, age is concerned, you just add 34 and <laughs> 38. So it's coming around uh, 67, 70% uh, uh, coming from the age group of uh, 30 to 40 years. We have uh, conducted a study and we have collected the response from the uh, farmers or the trainees that uh, why these uh, uh, goat farms, why you are not to continue the goat farm or what are the reasons uh, for not started goat farms or, or if they have even they have started but why they have shut down out of 927 responses we found that 294 farmers have started their goat farm it's around 32 percent and uh, seven respondents have told that they are starting shortly this study was conducted in 21 2021 now not started due to that uh, what are the reasons financial problem 87 respondents told that uh, there was a financial problem. Family problems were there. 88 uh, respondents were told that uh, family problems, not availability of quality goods. Only six uh, respondents told about it. Shifted to other agriculture activities, planning to start uh, goat farming. A loan problem is there. Loan labor problem is there. Land problem is there. And uh, this, uh, they got job somewhere. And uh, the other reasons are 10 farmers reported. The other very important observation is that they have started, but they have closed. So 206 respondents told about this. They have started, but uh, they have closed. So 22.22% uh, farmers. And this, uh, the responses are mortality in early stage. Very important. 83 farmers too. Fa family problems, got job, land problems, financial problem, labor problem, marketing. By this uh, table, or we can, uh, this of the main observation is that we have to support the farmers. We have to hand holding with the farmers. We have to uh, support these farmers uh, financially, or we can say that uh, some kind of uh, uh, policies or interventions, schemes, programs are very much required to provide them in financial support at the initial stage of the farming. And we have also uh, start the follow up program. Not only that we are providing the training programs. We are also uh, developed uh, almost 22 WhatsApp groups are running at the right now. And in these groups, uh, uh, almost uh, 60 to 70 farmers are in each group. And uh, whatever that information they are sharing with us, whether it is a related to health, whether related to other problems, the, all the resource person who are, who are the respected member of these groups are immediately uh, responding to these farmers. So uh, this is a this is a, a way to how to connect with these farmers and give them a continuous support to uh, to come out with these problems, which is very much important. So economics of goat farming on these uh, 136 farms we have studied, and uh, uh, covering that southern, eastern, central, northern, and western Himalayas. And out of this 60% uh, were the small farmers, uh, this uh, keeping up to 50 animals, 50 to 1 to 100 animals and large animals, 101 and above. And what we found that the net income per goat was found to be 6,414 rupees in case of small animals, small farmers, and uh, 7,459 rupees in the case of medium and uh, 8,259 8, rupees in the case of large farmers. So overall, they are getting into 7,093 rupees per animal per year as a net income. And the benefit cash cost ratios varies from 1.94% to 2.47% and overall it's 2.24%. So this uh, table shows that, that the, uh, this is, in fact, this is a, although uh, this is a very small study and sample size is very small, but uh, uh, the people are talking about it is not at all beneficial, it is not uh, economically viable. 
these these farmers are running their goat farms very good and very well and earning a very good profit technical efficiency of goat farms we have also worked out in this uh, technical efficiency we have uh, worked out the input use pattern and different scale of production physical and economic indicators estimated we have estimated the technical efficiency scores there's a constant return to scale variable return to scale and scale efficiency technical efficiency of these farm of the different scale were attained more than 60% of the scale and about 25% of the farmers have achieved already achieved by the 100% of efficiency class it means that the uh, this observation may be the 60% more than 60% scale is because of that some farm started little uh, later and some some farm started recently but this uh, information is encouraging and the, the it is definitely provide the a support to the farmers who are uh, newcomers who are coming who want to start this their commercial goat farm these are the steps towards the enhancing profitability of commercial goat farming some of the strategies are there market research and target the right clients it's very important as i told you that market is very very important the farmers are producing animals they are whatever we are uh, teaching them they are just adopting the all the uh, technical uh, uh, this uh, uh, information or technical interventions they are uh, keeping the good quality germ plan they are keeping uh, they are following the uh, this uh, cirg developed health calendar they are uh, uh, maintaining hygiene condition housing is also they are constructed as per the uh, scientific norms but the finally they where they are they are lagging behind is there is a market so due to that the 80% goats are reared by the extensive under the extensive management system and the main buyers are the these butchers and the middlemen and the local traders and the these uh, handful uh, animals are with the uh, commercial goat farms of the organized or uh, semi organized goat farms so the, the these traders or these the local uh, butchers or people are they are moving to the farmers because farmers are very much in need of money they are ready to sell their animals at the rate of 3000 rupees or 4000 rupees because of this uh, their their immediate need of that money in their uh, family obligation of family uh, some work out there so uh, these uh, uh, these uh, uh, farmers are these traders are moving to the uh, farmers and they are buying the animals and they are selling to the market but for our this uh, animal which is uh, the, the cost per uh, per animal per cost only cost is coming 4500 rupees or 5000 rupees per year how can we sell it at the at the rate of 3000 to 3500 rupees so in this case many people many farmers many entrepreneurs and stakeholders are 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 moving around and they want a good quality of animals uh, nowadays and they are asking that sir give me uh, some addresses of the goat farms from where we can buy the 20 uh, 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 50 50 animals 70 animals 100 animals uh, good quality animals but this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, 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 farms are lagging this time this type of farms is, uh, these animals are not available for these newcomers so market research for the market research we have to discover our uh, good uh, buyers or clients implement proper breeding and genetics optimize flock management opt for the intensive and efficient feeding techniques local resource based feed are very much required the feed is alone constitute around 60 to 65% even 70% of total uh, cost of production in the case of recurring cost so this this local resource based feed are very much important and they are playing a very important role in one of our study in one of our project in uttarakhand we have developed uh, a very good feed uh, for the for the uh, this uh, uh, regions uh, for the hill goats and uh, it is very cost effective it's only 8 to 9 rupees uh, per kg in comparison to the 70 to 18 rupees in market feed market price diversify product uh, offerings explore direct marketing channels uh, this is entire value chain should be of the of the farms there are some uh, uh, success stories uh, one sr commercial goat farm it is in uh, sirsa haryana so i have asked them what is going on that uh, he told that sir now we are earning 10 to 12 lakh rupees annually net of cost so these farmers have started their goat farm with only with 20 goats of beetle breed with a total investment of 5 lakh rupees now they are maintaining two, 200 plus goat of beetle breed and they are exporting the animals to the vietnam they have exported 
and uh, they are also uh, providing these animals to the other goat farmers organizing training program giving a good knowledge to the other goat farmers of the punjab haryana and other neighboring states this is a story of mohammad rashid he is a 54th batch uh, of the national training program he passed out in 2013 he started goat farm only with 12 goats berberi goats maintaining a very good very good farm it's keeping a very good uh, berberi goats now maintain around 300 plus berberi breed 120 adult females 60 adult male and uh, uh, 15 breeding bucks along with 35 castrated male and rest of the kids this is the composition of his uh, farm and he is also earning 10 lakh rupees annually net of cost and he is also starting started the training program and 20 training programs he has already conducted and 120 participants have already get the good knowledge mr bd kushwa he is a very good horticulture plus uh, goat farming in uh, in dehradun this model is a unique model he is selling the milk to the uh, hospitals at the rate of 200 rupees per liter maintaining around uh, 15 to 20 goats of uh, berberi and uh, jamna pari and uh, beetle and uh, he is also uh, producing broccoli tomato and uh, during winter and bitter gourd during summer and earning a good profit from this uh, horticulture crops as well as he is earning a very good uh, uh, fetching price from the goat farm this is the story of mr kalyan kohli is the 52nd uh, national training program batch pass out 36 year old is a young guy is a uh, is a uh, name is that uh, igpen animal biocare private limited sanjeevni khamar and uh, dealing with that is uh, started ai center with the black bengal diluted uh, liquid semen and uh, he is also providing trainings to the farmers and uh, uh, these uh, stockmen's of the government uh, departments and uh, selling these uh, straw at the rate of 9 to 10 rupees to the farmers sir uh, the policy environment is very very important as far as that commercial goat farming is concerned so these are the important steps for improving policy environment for commercial goat farming the government support is very much required government support is needed to 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 run the goat farm successfully successfully and uh, the infrastructure development this is also required a support from the government and uh, research and development is uh, also a very important uh, aspect breed improvement programs and breed uh, uh, development programs for area specific and breed specific concern as required training and extension services they also required from the government side and organize time to time the training program extension and services financial assistance is very much required from the financial institutions the government support in terms of the financial assistance is required for the farmers or the newcomers market linkages which is a very important issue as i told you that market is very playing a very important role in this goat farming so market linkages is required so so we can bypass the middlemen and uh, the producer share and consumer rupee may increase quality control and certifications farmer awareness campaign and public private partnership mode these are the important steps or the important points that can be covered in the policy environment for the commercial goat farming